The dumplings are delicious, rich and good and spiked with sharp herbs. Next I eat the biscuits, the whole plateful, and slowly lick the crystals of sugar from my lips. Then I slurp the tea down in one swallow. Across the table, the woman takes alternating mouthfuls of cheese and bread until she finishes both. Finally, she turns to the onion. She sprinkles it with salt and raises it to her lips. And then I remember. The sled, the snow, the paper twist of salt, the muttered conversation with the yaga in her hut. You're the onion woman, I cry, from the sled. Onion woman, she says with a crunch. That's hardly flattering. My name is Mitchka, Baba Mitchka, to you. I can hardly believe it, I say. You must admit it's quite a coincidence, us happening to take the same sled. She fixes me with a shrewd look and bites into her onion. I'll admit no such thing, she says when at last she has finished chewing. When it comes to our pupils, we leave nothing to chance. It's easy to get some of you here. Others present more of a challenge. But we make sure you all get here eventually. You don't really think it was a coincidence that I sat next to you on that sled? But why, I begin. Mitchka cuts me off. Because Bleak Step is the only place where you are free to be what you are. I have so many questions that I want to ask. Is Bleak Step really a school? What does it teach? How do you know that I'm Yaga? Have you been watching me this whole time? I must look bewildered, because Mitchka swallows the last of her onion in one quick gulp. Perhaps I'd better start at the beginning, she says. The beginning of what, I wonder? Bleak Step was founded nearly 100 years ago, Mitchka says, by Baba Basha, one of the three members of the Imperial Coven. The Imperial Coven? The Yagas who stole the Firebird's egg? The, the ones who started the war in the skies? I say, barely believing this could be true. And haven't I heard the name Basha before? Baba Mitchka frowns. That's a history lesson you'd do well to unlearn, Olga. The coven didn't steal the egg, they concealed it. And if they hadn't, the war would have been much worse. Better a divided Sardom than no Sardom at all. I nod, but I'm still not sure I understand her.